Gareth Bale is once again in transfer limbo, and after a season at Spurs, Real Madrid are once again looking to shift him off their books. Will they see the back of him for good? Let's have a look at the options. Welcome to the rumour mill. Bale's return to Tottenham didn't seem to be quite as impactful as his first stint with the club, and his future might have been overlooked given all the noise around Harry Kane's next move. But the Welshman's numbers suggest that he still has a lot to offer any club willing to take a chance on him. Bale averaged 1.27 goals and assists per 90 this season, which is higher than any player to have played more than 900 minutes in each of the last three seasons. It's higher than Sergio Aguero managed in the previous two campaigns, it's higher than Harry Kane has ever managed, but it's not even the highest peak of Bale's career. The Welshman recorded 1.51 goals and assists per 90 in his 2015-16 season at Real Madrid. This is a player with a lot left to give, and his output this season was seriously good. His radar shows league-leading numbers in chance creation and shots, while his final third passing figures aren't to be scoffed at either. Tottenham might have seen more benefits had they given him more game time, but as his position map shows, the vast majority of Bale's time was spent on the bench. And when he did get on the pitch, he wasn't deployed as the main man, like he used to be before leaving for Madrid eight years ago. That main man status has since been transferred to Kane. As always, this move is about money and how much Real Madrid are willing to sacrifice to get the Welshman off their books. Tottenham seem to be more preoccupied with retaining Kane and appointing a new permanent manager. And in the process, they might be letting a valuable asset escape their grasp. The Welshman's performances may have slipped under the radar this season, but his output doesn't lie and his numbers are very good. A shrewd club might do well to take a bet on Bale.